the sins of the father or the improvements of the technology are passed on to the children. So, what does that mean for today? Today, we remember that I purchased and had a Nexus 6, and I've really enjoyed it. And I got the thin case, which has actually strangely made the, the phone much more enjoyable and easy to use. So, that is the power of thin cases. But we're not here to talk about this today. Oh, no. No. We are here to talk about the phone I did borrow, not the one I own, but the one I borrowed, which is the Nexus 6P. Um, you know, kind of the blue guy I'm your father. Um, I really like my phone, but I'm not going to ignore some of its problems. One, the thing is, you know, it's really wide. And if you've got a, a thick case on it in the car, it's hard to find a mount to go ahead and put up so you can see. And, um... Uh, and the thing, it tends to roll and, and slide all over the place. But I still love all the real estate. I think it's really awesome. Um, however, this guy uh, fits in the hand really, really nice. Now, I've got, I've got sizable hands. You know, I'm not a ball player by any means. But this, is, this fits really nicely in hands. If your hands are not larger or you are looking for something that fits really comfortable in the hand, um, the 6P's got a lot going for it. Now, You'll notice that this has that kind of curved uh, half circle kind of looking thing. This is back to a traditional. Now it is rounded and the edges are beveled a little bit. So it's not boring boring, but it's definitely a Hershey bar thing. But that's that's kind of what works right now. Um, the other nifty thing is this has got a fingerprint scanner on the back. And the idea is you put your fingerprint here. And in fact, if you watch, I'll put my fingerprint in place and it says, I am not that person. And so I have to do it the traditional way, which is I slide up and I go through the pattern. Now, um, it does have marshmallow right on it almost, and that immediately gets you the ability to use the smart unlock. Same thing with Lollipop, where it can use GPS or time of day or just being on your person and it doesn't lock anyways. But the fingerprinting saves a little time. It's one of those nuanced features that I actually found to be really, really nice. Now, again, I like my Nexus 6 a lot. But in, and then for what I paid 350 and then what you will now pay two, I think 89, you can't really beat that. That's awesome. This one's like 500 bones. Now, um, this one she got going through Project Phi, and I'll do another review on that. That's actually been an interesting adventure. And they've let her go ahead and make payments. And this is a 64 gig, so uh, the payments are a little bit more than 20 bucks each for two years. Now, um, another thing I liked is that this is, it actually seems to be handling power management a little bit better. This is doing better, and it's got the deep sleep. And what I love about it is it says, oh, you only have 15% battery left, and that's like three hours. I'm like, yeah. Um, this one's a little smaller, a little lighter, fits nicer in the but hand. This one will actually yeah. go onto almost any network. I think that it'll do Verizon. Actually, it'll do all the local networks. So if you didn't want to go to Project 5, you still want to pick up the phone, I think that you couldn't lose. Again, you know, my oversized um, steroidal original, um, 289 at present. But if you are able to make payments or you want to go to just a more modern, especially with the fingerprint, you can't go wrong with this one. It's been uh, really strong. Now, there is a video that talks about how there's a weak point somewhere in the center, and this guy actually breaks two of these. But, um, you know, don't sit on your phone. <laughs> you know, if you are unbelievably rude to your phone, I don't know if you want one of these anyways. But if you are one that puts the phone in the back pocket, don't buy this one. But if you put it in your, either your purse or your front pocket or, or your or side hip case or what have you, I don't think it's wrong. If you go looking for cases on Amazon, you'll see that one immediately. This one fits in really nicely. It seems to go really well. And then we put a tempered glass shield on the front, which is an H9 hardness. I chose those because, for no other reason alone, the uh, the tempered glass, which are 0.3 thickness, they seem to be really clear. So when you look at it and you go through, um, the screen's really crisp, it's really clear, really good fit. Now this does not have, like the Nexus 6, it does not have a pull-out battery or pull-out memory. So I wish I'd gone for the 64 gig on my phone, but I went 32, but she went for a 64. Now one other really um, notable difference that I think is important is um, try and get to see it. 
this is the typical uh, USB to my to mini USB. I'm sorry, micro USB cable, which is the trapezoidal that we're used to. This phone uses USB Type C, and the cable's a little thicker, as you'll notice. At least this one is. And one of the benefits of the Type C is you can plug it in this way, and you can also plug it in, flip it over, and it doesn't matter. So that type of one type of plug-in um, standard is going to disappear in the Type C there. And like all others, you're probably going to want to go ahead and grab yourself. Um, this is a I picked this up off Amazon, but this is a USB 2.1 amp, so that or higher. Um, same type of charge benefits, a lot of the same benefits I saw in the Nexus 6. Uh, just I noticed that you know it, it fits a little better in the hand. It has a little bit more robust, you know, the hardware is very comparable, a little bit more robust, uh, processor, camera, etc. But um, you know, the higher memory and a little bit snappier performance. I think it's a win. I, I you know, I've interviewed the owner and, and she's extremely happy with it. It blends nicely with Marshmallow. Um, you know, the fingerprint identification is a plus. Near field communication, although I haven't used that personally. And the camera seems to be a little bit higher quality than what I got on my Nexus 6. It doesn't have, uh, there are some, it, you know, I've, I've talked to someone on this phone and, and I've had reverberations, but nothing different than I've experienced from this phone or other similar phones in the same location. So the call quality has been really nice. And like I said, this this just really, you know, right in hand, really nicely, and a place to put your finger. Um, this one, I still love it, and I'm going to have it for a while, but this is a, it's definitely a nicer design. So if you wanted to go, if you wanted these features, I would not hesitate in saying, okay, make the payments and pass up this guy and go for this one. Um, there's also a Nexus 5X. I, have, I haven't tested that one. Though. So I hope that helps anyone. If you have any questions, let me know.